What's going on guys, uh, Brett Roach here. Today I'm going to show you a little <clears throat> editing video. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to show you guys a little editing video, uh, something that I fixed with uh, editing guitar tracks and bass tracks because uh, I record all my audio here in Logic Pro. As you can see we have like bass tracks here. And then uh, what I do is I export the audio for like the bass, and then I'll bring it into Cubase over here where I do all my editing. And after I make those edits, a problem I was having is I'd export it back out as mono and uh, re-import it here in Logic Pro. So I'll just show you guys that real quick. Let's create a new track. Or bring in our base <laughs> that we edited in Cubase. <laughs> and obviously, you can see even if we bring it to the front here or to the front here, we have the audio is all off time like uh, Logic sped it up or something for the tempo. Now, this is an issue obviously and we don't want to do this because I set all my tempos. Tempo varies throughout the song as you can see here in the <laughs> automator. The, the tempo changes throughout the song. So that's going to affect obviously any audio coming in going out. So I already have my tempo graph set up here in uh, Cubase as well to ensure the audio stays in tempo. So this is all Logic's doing. So what I'll do is you need to go to uh, File, Project Settings, uh, Smart Tempo and we're just going to turn it off. Now your settings should be good. I'm going to go ahead and recreate a new audio track. And now when we bring that bass track back in here, it should be on time. So here's the original bass file. And then here's our new base file with all the edits we did in Cubase. As you can see, everything's perfectly uh, back on tempo and synced on time. So that's all I wanted to show you guys today. Hope this video helps.